Now in your quest to try and have a picking technique which is efficient and doesn't use a lot of movement, what you may have been doing is trying to concentrate all of the movement below your wrist into this area here, your thumb and your index finger. This area here, below your wrist. If you're trying to do this, you're pushing all of this force through your thumb and forefinger. And I'm not talking about doing that kind of funny little motion that you see people doing. I'm talking about this, right? Where you're putting all of this tension and force through that part of your hand. You're not even using the wrist joint. You're trying to concentrate all the movement down here. That is gonna slow you down. That's gonna keep you slow. You're never gonna get fast with that technique, all right? What you really need to start doing is activating that entire wrist joint. Now, whether you do it like that, it doesn't matter what it looks like, whether you rotate in and out, whether your hand's here, there, whatever, whether you combine it with a bit of forearm, elbow, whatever, but that wrist joint is important. You do need to actually be using it in some way. 